In 2020.3, Tableau have added a new feature that allows you to see all the content that's been shared with you on Tableau Online and Tableau Server. Let's take a look and see how this feature works. You can see here it's on the left-hand side, just this little new option here called Share With Me. Now, for this to work, a user has to share content with someone on Tableau Server. But it's important to note that this doesn't mean that the person doesn't already have access to this. It doesn't sort of cut across the permission system in Tableau Server. So I'm going to show you that concept now. Um, let's just hop into the Explore tab here. And I'm going to hop into the 2020.2 release. And I'm going to go into Metrics. And you can see here that I have, um, what is it, uh, five items, six items, including some role segments that I published up from the previous uh, release. Now I'm going to switch over to another user logged into the same Tableau dev instance. So let's hop on over to this user. You can see that I'm in uh, incognito, so I can log in twice. And if I go back to explore 2020.2 release, I still have the same amount of content. So the first thing to note here is that the second user who's going to be having content shared with them has to already have access to this content. You'll see what that looks like if they don't have access. Okay, now let's switch back to the original user who's going to be sharing content. The first thing I need to do is just essentially go to a particular thing that I'd like to share. So let's hit on these uh, three icons and then hit the share button. And you get this nice interface that basically allows you to basically send a message and define who you want to share with. So I'm just gonna share this with myself. I've only got one other user on this test instance and I can even send a message. Now this message will actually get captured in the email, okay? So let's hit share. And now that's shared, I'm gonna go back to my other user and we're now gonna see if that item appears in the shared with me section. And if I click on that, you'll see that it now appears. It also shows you who shared the item. So if you're wondering uh, where content has come from, there's now a little bit of signaling to help you understand who's sharing content with you and maybe why they might want you to see that content. You can see examples in an organization where you maybe want to know that a manager has shared something with you. So maybe it's important and you should take a look uh, because it's part of a discussion. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the second user's access uh, via the permissions interface to this view. And then we're gonna come back here and see what's happened to this view, okay? So let's go back here. And we actually shared this specific visualization, actually metric with the user. Let's go down this time to permissions. And it's important to bear in mind that sharing and permissions are two separate concepts. So let's go ahead and remove access to all users. So the only person that's gonna have access is the original author, which in this case is the current user that's logged in, not the user whose this metric has been shared with. So now let's go back to this view. And I haven't refreshed this page yet. You can see that this user in the previous instance had access to this. Now, if I refresh this page, you'll see that I now get a notification telling me that permission is required. If I click on the view, I actually get the ability to request access. And that request access is essentially in the form of um, and that request access is essentially in the form of an email. So I go ahead, request access, and then that's sent to the user. And I did this a little bit earlier on before I started recording this video, and this is what it looks like. I've had to sort of blank out my email here, but it also gives some context as to the user's email. So it basically says Tim has requested access to this particular metric. When you go to the metric, the user can then share that metric and make sure they have the necessary permissions that they need to look at that. And so this is a really nice feature. It's giving users the ability to request access to stuff rather than just basically waiting to be given access to stuff and not see what they're supposed to be able to see. Okay, so we've covered what happens when you share content. We've covered what happens when you remove permissions. What happens when you delete content? Well, let's go back to my original user. Let's delete this particular view. So it's no longer a metric that's available in the server at all. Then let's go back to my shared reviews. We can click explore other content, go back to shared with me. And now you see that items completely disappeared. So when you delete content, it disappears. When you remove permission, it still remains shared with the user, but they can no longer access it and they need to request permission to see it. 
And again, it's really important to emphasize that all of this was already available to the user because on this server, every user has access to everything. There's only two of us. And so sharing and permissions are two separate concepts. I think that's something that's gonna confuse a lot of people. So it's worth bearing in mind. Okay, that's it for the video. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you haven't, drop us a comment below. Let me know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future. And be sure to check out some of the other videos in the playlist and make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out some other great Tableau content that we have available for you.